it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls. This is our daily card reading for October 26, 2021, and it is a weird time. I, as a reader, on occasion, will get into this um, fuzzy mood. I don't know. It, like, I, it, it's when I tune in for a message, there's just so much. And it's swirling. It's all-encompassing. And I, maybe I fail at my job. <laughs> Sometimes I can't put it into words. Please don't click off, okay? <laughs> Personal readings, angelsouls444.com. Extra content. Angelic meditation challenges. Gumroad.com slash angelsouls. It's King of Ariel. Uh, successful. Somebody asked me what this deck was. Oh dear. I hope they're watching this. I think it's the, I think it's just called the Archangel or Power Archangels deck. Radley Valentine. Okay. Uh, King of Ariel. Successful, stable, accomplished, powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. Using resources wisely. The reason why I paused. Give it to me again, guys. Can you give it to me clear? So I know what I, that kind of sound like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so for some of you, this is someone coming in who might be your polar opposite, who really is showing up to help balance you, to help you see the other side of things, um, or to help you navigating. Yeah, they're saying it, this person can help you navigate. So we were just talking yesterday about divine feminine, divine masculine, and the blending of the two. And if you were somebody who carries a lot of divine masculine, this might be someone that you draw in do not be taking advantage of either energy. No. You Machiavellian, you're manipulative, it's going to come back to you times 10. All right? Rest assured. Comment down below. Let us know how it went. Okay? <laughs> but this isn't so you take advantage of it, um, but that they can show you perhaps, you know, hey, being in your emotions, which is, you know, generalizing stereotypically <laughs> a feminine aspect um you know they can help you get comfortable with your emotions but again don't overcorrect. it is not somebody else's job to teach you anything except for how they show up right um and be an example but they don't have to like put their lives on hold to teach you how to be in touch with your emotions feel me okay now conversely this could be and this is kind of the bigger energy here my my audience is predominantly feminine energy. <laughs> Hi. Uh, and to the guys, special shout out to the guys who do show up. I love you. Thank you. All right. But this could be somebody coming up and saying, hey, it's not a bad thing to get out there in the world. It's not a bad thing to go after what you want. Here, I've done it before. Here, here are the steps. Here's how you can do it. Right. There's a practicality to this. Uh, Archangel Ariel is all about Manif manifesting right but being in a detox space before you do right so she's associated with nature nature angels but the earth and being in this human skin <laughs> right uh, i usually associate her with the root chakra so you know your home your material manifestations feeling at home within your own skin that sort of thing so that's one layer but the thing is is that I also felt like this is someone you're learning to not be controlled. If you're watching this video today, one of the lessons on deck, right, is to learn how to not be controlled without becoming the controlling person yourself. So if you have someone who comes tripping into your life and they're like, I got all the answers, baby, I'll show you the way. <laughs> if somebody talks to you like that, oh my God. <laughs> But, but, you know, somebody could come in with a lot of hubris. Someone could come in with a lot of ego. Somebody could come in thinking they're the hottest thing to ever walk the planet, okay? You're, you're learning, maybe say no to that for one, um, but you're learning how to set those boundaries and, and to recognize that, right? Because now we're getting down the road of false promises or, yeah, I'll help you, I'll help you, but it's going to cost you. I know so many people or have known people like that in my life. There were times that I would never, ever, 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 ever ask someone to help me with anything because it is going to cost me dearly. 
they're like emotional loan sharks. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, like, oh, I was, I listened to you cry about a bad day. Now you got to listen to me whine about my life for a month, you know, or whatever people, what are you going to do? But just be, just be very discerning about what's going on. And remember, if you didn't watch the weekly, make sure you go back and watch the weekly. Cause it, it, there was a lot in there. I was doing my best to put it into words, but I don't know. I don't know if I did it justice. We, it may feel these things may be subtle. They may be subtle and then big. That's what I feel like. It's kind of like, eh, it's there. And if you're intuitive, you're picking up on it. You know something's up and then, poof. all right. So it's not about, and we do this to each other, like predict it. Were you right or were you wrong? I know it's, it's mystical. <laughs> it's mysterious. It's intriguing. It's juicy content. I know, but we got no time for that. Okay. There's no time for nonsense. I'm sorry. Okay, but anyway, let's get on to tomorrow because, wow. Um, anyway, <laughs> so much love and take care.